there's an interesting concept about how people think they've made the right choice before God. And they're so allegedly content, they're so allegedly conspired that they think they've done the right thing. But many people have moments of time that they didn't make the life matter, that they harmed someone with their chatter, that their gossip ruined someone's safety, and they don't want to face it. They don't want to replace it, and they don't want to fix it. And openly, that is somewhat immoral. On the one hand, if you're being abused all the time by people, you absolutely have the right to play out. But if on the other hand, you're one of these personalities that wants to make yourself a victim of how you did nothing wrong, then God's not going to be pleased with your attitude. Because any human being has an interaction, and it's not just one person. But it is true that people like to gang up and abuse people as if it's okay to do so. And people do that who claim to be Christian. People do that who claim other religions. And the people that do that in their version, their warped ideology on God's permissions are out of control. You see, God had a plan for every boy and girl. God has a plan for every soul. God plans the people you meet, but you're the one who chooses who you fuck in the streets. And when you did that, that day, you screwed yourself. And hopefully it might be what's eating your vanities now. Because you aren't happy and you still are dealing with the old wounds of childhood. And you're not wise and you've chosen the wrong way. But you don't want to believe it. You don't want to see it. You don't want to conceive it. You don't want to perceive it. So you just continue your justification of abusing someone else. Who's been saying, hey, you fucked the plan. Way to go. 